What's up, Laker fans, man? And I'm back with another recap. Lakers versus Rockets. The game happened today. Um, Lakers lost, obviously. And the reason why we lost was on some bullshit. First of all, the Houston Rockets shot 16 free throws in the fourth quarter. Not the fourth quarter, an OT. A five-minute period. What is that? Every time they drove free throws, Lakers shot one. Now, going on, we had this game in locks. You know, Hardy was going to get his, but everybody around him sucked. Lonzo was playing great, then he got injured. Lonzo's injury, I don't know what's going on. They say he uh, came out of there in a wheelchair. He had to go to the hospital because the, the machines weren't working in Toyota Center in Houston. So, that's stupid. That's odd, for real. So, yeah, man, they... The x-rays came back negative. He has no fractures, so he's going to be out at least, I think, a week or two weeks. And that's just bad, man. First, he has to get reevaluated, then he's going to be out. So we're going to have no LeBron, no Rondo, or no Lonzo. Our three playmakers, our three point guards. Our Ingram, but he's not really a point guard. So, Laker fans, don't be mad. You know, when we lose a game, don't try to say, trade this, trade him, trade this, get off the team. He doesn't deserve minutes. Go to the bench. Because we don't, our team is not constructed around to have all three of these guys out. We're supposed to have all three of them in. You know, Lonzo was holding, holding it by the jaw. And I'm like, Lonzo get injured. We have no other point guards on the roster. I think the uh, Lakers are going to call up Alex Caruso. Alex Caruso did have some moments last year, but he's not a starter. He's not even a second string. He's not an NBA player, to be honest. Um. Yeah, bro. He was up like 19. Then Lonzo went down, and like that, James Harden in the game came back, and then it was a close game. We fought though. That's the thing. We fought. Got the game to OT. That Eric Gordon hit a wild, crazy three. Ingram should have contested. That was stupid on him. It's not the contest the shot. You have a seven, what four wingspan. You gotta contest that shot. You wasn't gonna foul. I don't know why. Uh, Kuz had 32, Kuz bought, but the thing is, when P.J. Tucker got on Kuz, because Kuz not a, he can't create his own shot, so Kuz uses his physical prowess, because he's quick, and he's big, and he's kind of fast, so that's how Kuz gets in the lane, gets in the restricted area, and gets all those points, but P.J. Tucker is a big guy, too, and he's gonna, he gonna get down with you, and Kuz, I don't think Kuz even touched the ball in the fourth quarter of OT, P.J. Tucker is on him like that, um, and OT, Ingram had 12 points in OT, I think, I believe. He hit a three, some jumpers, free throws, a lot. Of, he was doing a lot. Layup at the end. It was garbage time layup, but, hey, he, a point is a point. And I was over here thinking, like, Ingram, bro, what are you doing? I think he had, like, he was two for six at that point. Six turnovers, five assists, four rebounds. You couldn't even see him on the court. I guess he didn't want to force nothing. I get that, but, like, you got to do something in first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, and fourth quarter. And, yeah, when Lonzo went down, Lance played great. You know, he had 16 points off the bench, a lot of threes. He was guitaring it up. And, you know, that's what made us – that's what stayed us afloat in the fourth quarter. Um, Josh Hart, 3 for 10, 1 for 6 for 3. That's not good. He has to play better than that. Uh, he didn't really pick up a lot of fouls on James Harden like he used to. In one play, he played with his hands behind the back. And that was, you know, teasing, you know, James Harden and the refs. Like, they call everything if you even breathe on them. Uh, Zubac had a great game, too. 21 minutes. In his limited time, he plays very well. I think teams don't have a game plan for him yet. Because he has a little baby look and he's big as fuck. And he covers a wide range. You know, in the paint. So, and he fouled out though. So, boy, he jumped straight up. And a vertical rule, I thought, I don't know the rules no more. So, um, yeah. Let me get on Caldwell Pope, KCP. <coughs> no, I like KCP. Nobody in the Lakers uh, fan him likes him because he, you know, he's sometimes does bonehead stuff. And he has some stretches where he plays very bad. And people, Lakers fans, are like that. He has to play great every single game. Or you're going to get traded, or you're getting cut. But KCP shot a 33-footer, no hesitation, all the way airballed. I think it airballed to the left, and that was even close. And he was 0 for 7 at that point. So he wasn't even, like, sparking for real. I don't know what the hell he thought he was doing. So, yeah, like I said in the previous video, starting lineups don't matter. 
Tyson Chandler started, he played 14 minutes. Don't really matter. JaVale had a good game, 16 points, 12 points, or 12 points, 16 minutes, and 14 rebounds. I don't know how his defense was that game. I didn't really check on him that much, but they were leaving shooting those uh, inside shots. They were shooting a lot of threes. I think they shot, yeah, they shot almost 70 threes. This, they, this is the second time they shot 70 threes, and they were 37%, 25 for 68. Lakers was 10 to 37. 27%. Obviously, we're a bad three-point shooting team. That's not going to change unless we get a shooting coach. I have another video on that. But we shot very well from the line. Maybe we already have that shooting coach. You know, maybe as has transition until or in, into the three-point shooting. Uh, Yeah, we shot 24 for 30 from the free throw line. We did very well to stay with them, but they shot 36 free throws. And a, half of those was in OT. I think it's James Harden was even driving that game. He had 48, but it, it, it felt boneless, you know? The 48 didn't feel like a Kobe 48 or a Curry 48 or a KD 48. He shot 14 for 30, 8 for 19 from three-point range. KCP did straight on him, I guess. It just been, if you follow sleep on James Harden, he's going to make you pay in the open floor after a turnover, all that. And yeah, bro, I just we should have won this game. We would be good. The stand is we'll be one game back from the third seed, I believe. Now we're I don't know if we're in the playoffs no more. And then with our Lonzo Rondo and LeBron injured, this team is is a chicken with his head cut off. No point guard. Who's gonna take forty shots in this game? Facts. Ingram, they're gonna even for, <coughs> excuse me. They're gonna put Ingram at point guard. He's gonna get five turnovers because he's too long to be point guard. Think about Ingram is if he gets <coughs> excuse me if he gets guarded by like uh, physical defenders, physical defenders that's like shorter him like a T, like a PJ Tucker or Iman Shumpert, guys like that is gonna be wraps because they can get all of him. And Ingram is only a buck oh five, so the only thing he can do is get in the low post, get in that mid area, and shoot a mid or just finish over the top with the length. Because he was not that quick. He doesn't have a quick first step. He's better on the run. That's why he's a better off-ball player. Or he should be. I don't know why the Lakers groomed him to be an on-ball player. Literally, no score in the history of the game was on-ball player before they was off-ball. Except point guards. It's not no wings, bro. Not KD. Not Kobe. I don't, probably Mike. Because Mike was a dog. LeBron. LeBron, top five grades, obviously. But still, this was a disappointing loss, but you can't really be mad, man. We have, you can't really be mad at no loss we have with no LeBron Rondo, to be honest. We have, this is a young team, a very young team. And our key players are young players. You usually get some assists from the veterans, but, you know, they've been playing kind of wishy washy. They've been playing more inconsistent than young guys. Michael Beasley had two game, two bad games in a row. JaVale, he's sick. You don't know what's going on with him. Tyson Chandler, 52. Back broke. Zubak, the most consistent center. Lance Stevenson, that's, you know what he's going to get out of him. And I think KCP's being consistent except this game. Fuck KCP for that shot. Should have gave the ball to Ingram, and he would have he would have taken he would have took us home, man. Especially when there was missing free throws in the OT. He was going to take us home, man. Oh, uh, yeah. Next, we have Golden State, and DeMarcus Cousins just had 14 points, or, yeah, 14 points in 15 minutes. So, per 36, that's like 30-some points. And I don't know if, I don't know if Cousins can guard Zubac, if you want to keep it a buck. Put KD on Ingram. We're just, just going to do it. Put Kuzma on Draymond. Yeah, that's very good. So, yeah. Um, I hope... One of these young guys step up, preferably Ingram, because he's playing wishy-washy. Even though he did have nine points in the OT, where was he at the whole game? If he even had a, if he had two points a quarter, we would have won the game easily. So, but he played good defense. He's top ten in defensive rating and defense defensive win share. So that's good. Uh, yeah. I don't really know what to say. Harden, you bitch. He's awful to watch. He does a little crossover from time to time, but after that, he just step back three and one three-point shot, go to the rim, foul, shoot free throws. 
stop the What's game. What's up, Lakers fans, over, yeah. man? Can't get any more. And I'm back with another no, recap: bro. Lakers versus uh, Rockets. But yeah, man, I was talking to get over that 10 minute um, mark. Lakers um, lost, obviously. Like this video. Subscribe and if you. The new. reason why we lost was and if you already made it to this video, you are a real one. You are a real one. Houston Rockets shot 16 free throws in the fourth quarter. All right, man, I'm out. Not the fourth quarter. Have a good night. Have a good weekend. Have a good week. Have a good month. Have a good 2019. Every time they drove, free throws.